Okay, so our goal in this video is to make the left side of the equation equal the right side of the equation. And the way we're going to do that is by inserting brackets in certain locations. So in other words, where can I put parentheses so that when I combine these numbers, I do get 8. And I love these kind of problems. So we, we're getting a positive 8. And we want to put brackets somewhere. Let's try here. What happens if I do 1 plus negative 3? and then multiply that by negative 4. Well, 1 plus negative 3, that's 2. That's negative 2, excuse me. And then negative 2 times negative 4, well, that's positive 8. So I got lucky on that one. I just put parentheses right here, and then it worked. And the next one, we get a positive 1. Okay, so what can we do now? Well, um, I'm not going to put I'm not going to put brackets here because then a negative divided by a negative would give me a positive 3 and positive 3 plus negative 4 is not is not 1. What happens if I put the brackets right here? Well now I'm adding negative 2 and negative 4. If I add up those two I get negative 6. And what is negative 6 divided by negative 6? Or what's anything divided by itself? Anything divided by itself gives us 1. So that works in that case. And last, we want to get negative 18. So what can we do? Well, if I put brackets here, does this work? Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 minus 10 is negative 18. Oh, well, that worked too. Oh, well, kind of sad these are too easy. I, I, was, I, I might show some uh, more difficult ones in future videos just because it's so much fun to get a string of numbers, put brackets in different locations to create different amounts. I guess I should have realized with with these three numbers here, there aren't that many locations to place the brackets. Anyway, hope you had some fun in this video.